Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. In this video, we are going to learn about Lagrange's theorem. And we are concerned about three things, the statement, geometrical meaning and proof. Okay, and before starting the proof, it would be very good with Rolle's theorem. Because the proof of Lagrange's theorem depends on Rolle's theorem. Okay, the statement goes like this. Suppose f of x is a function which satisfies two conditions. Statement 1 or condition 1, f of x is continuous in the closed interval, just like Rolle's theorem. Second condition, f of x is differentiable in the open interval. But there is no third condition and Lagrange claims that if any function satisfies these two conditions, then he's giving you a guarantee. He's telling you, you will be able to find at least one point, minimum one point, in such a way that the derivative at that point will be equal to Fb minus Fa by B minus A. Now, look at this. Actually, Rolls, um, what you call, came up with this idea uh, of having what you call the tangent being parallel to the x-axis and Lagrange extended Rolle's theorem or he generalized Rolle's theorem. So if you imagine we have one more condition f of a equal to f of b. Can you see if f of a is equal to f of b this will become Rolle's theorem. So once more let me repeat let f of x be a function which is continuous so just like Rolle's theorem and second one differentiable differentiable means you'll be able to find the slope of tangent at each and every point and there is no third condition so let's look at the graph so we have a here b here and let's say this is the function height that is a comma f of a I told you in Rolle's theorem that f of a will be the height of the function at a and f of b will be the height of the function at b but here f of a and f of b need not be equal so f of b, f of b can be above f of a or below f of a i am just taking one case so basically the graph might look like this it can uh, it can look like this also um, what do you call it can even look like this also let's imagine a simple situation like this now look at this According to Lagrange, there will be a point between A and B where the gradient of the tangent, the slope of the tangent at C will be equal to Fb minus Fa by B minus A. Now, I want you to look at the chord joining the endpoints. Can you look at the chord joining the endpoints? What is the slope of that chord? You know, slope of a line segment is change in y coordinate by change in x coordinate slope or gradient means we are measuring how the change in y is associated with change in x so this is actually the slope of the chord joining the endpoints oh now i am able to understand lagrange's theorem lagrange's theorem tells us that there will be at least one tangent which will be parallel to the chord joining the endpoints. Okay, so this is what I call C. So we understand that there is at least one tangent which will be parallel to the chord joining the endpoints. Now let's go for the more important part, the proof. So look at this, they may ask you to prove um, what you call the mean value theorem or Lagrange's mean value theorem. Since it's a generalized version of Rolle's theorem, some mathematicians love to call this the mean value theorem as if this is the only mean value theorem. Okay, that simply means it's a generalized version of Rolle's theorem. What we do is we consider a function which satisfies all the conditions of Lagrange. What are Lagrange's condition? First condition, the function should be continuous in the closed interval. Second condition, the function should be differentiable in the open interval. Okay. Now, 
you have to be very 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 clear with rolle's theorem before we start the proof of lagrange's theorem because in between we will need this okay now look at this so what is small f of x a function which satisfies all the conditions of lagrange's mean value theorem now what i am going to do is i am going to create a function called capital f of x what am i going to do i am going to create a function called capital f of x which is small f of x plus k times x i am creating it i am going to create it f of x is a continuous function because that is a statement of what you call condition of lagrange's theorem and you know that x is a polynomial polynomial is continuous you multiply a polynomial by 5 or 10 or anything it will be continuous and you add two continuous functions it is continuous so what i am trying to tell you is capital f of x is continuous in the closed interval second thing differentiability will not be affected if you add a polynomial especially something into x so my point is capital f of x is differentiable in the interval a comma b open interval now the third thing now i'm going to be a little bit creative i'm going to find a value for k in such a way that f of a equal to f of b look at this i'm wondering when will f of a be equal to f of b can you tell me what is f of a yeah f of a plus k into a what is f of b replace x with b yeah small f of b plus k into b so we get k times a minus b just take it to left side right side i'm not writing too many steps uh so k is equal to fb minus fa by a minus b but i ultimately like what you call i know what's going to happen so i'm going to write this as fb minus fa by b minus c wait a minute are you allowed to write 5 minus 10 as 10 minus 5 yeah i am but i have to put a negative okay so i am putting that negative here okay that's it what is my function capital f of x small f of x plus k times x where k will be given this value where k will be given this value now look at capital f of x you have to understand that capital f of x is continuous differentiable and even capital f of a equal to f of b if you choose this value for k or we can understand that capital f of x satisfies all the conditions of rolle's theorem so according to rolle's theorem you know that there will be at least one point between a and b where the derivative will be zero now what is the derivative of f dash f of x f dash of x is equal to small f dash of x plus k into x k into 1 now f dash of c is equal to small f dash of c plus k but according to rolle's theorem why am i saying rolle's theorem because i am applying rolle's theorem for capital f of x so according to rolle's theorem this f dash of c will be equal to 0 that is small f dash of c plus k equal to 0 that is f dash of c is equal to minus k and you already know the value of k plug it and you'll get lagrange's theorem okay so now take any textbook that you prefer and go through the proof once or twice and practice a lot and that's it so in the next video i'll be back with uh, cauchy's theorem yeah and one more thing in exam they may ask um, what do you call proof of lagrange's theorem statement of lagrange's theorem maybe interpretation uh, or maybe verification problem or maybe they will give you some questions which are not continuous in an interval and they will ask 
can we apply Lagrange's theorem etc etc anyway in the next video I'll be back with Cauchy's theorem so till then my friends bye